so I'm I'm still muted and not breakout rooms live on Facebook. I just had an idea. Okay, I have to go over here. All right, but I need my Zoom thing as well. Okay, where's my live on Facebook? <laughs> oh boy. No? Okay, Lily Gundaka's personal meeting room. Learning on Friday. Learning on Friday. What do you think? What do you think? That's it. That's little do. Share on my timeline. Go public. Go live. So here I am. I'm going live. This meeting is being live streamed. Good morning. It's Friday morning, so I'm live here. And you may have recognized that lately when I've been live streaming on Friday, despite the fact that I set up my Facebook group Learning by Doing, I live stream into my personal account, live stream into Facebook public. What's the difference? You might be asking yourself. Oops, I was just setting up my timer so that I can keep it within the, the time that I'd like to keep it in. I don't know how long you want to watch, but I like to have a little bit control over my time. So it's a Toastmasters spontaneous speech. Typically, Toastmasters spontaneous speeches are one to two minutes. A regular prepared speech is five to seven minutes. Now, this is a spontaneous five to seven minute speech. Okay, so a little bit of both. And it occurred to me today that I'd like to help you, like in this platform of learning by doing, by offering a social media training. I'm no expert. I might be just one step ahead of you. Maybe I know how to live stream and you're wondering how the heck does that work? There's a few things I've picked up, I've learned over the years. I have a lot of experience and I have a lot of expertise. I'm very good at putting myself down saying, oh, I can't do that. I'm not an expert. Typical women, typical women say, I can't do that. So I'd like to help you, even if you're not a woman. But my expertise was even helping professionals, scientists, way up there, top people, leaders in the United Nations who got into a situation where IT changed something and they were expected to do something and didn't have a clue what to do. I was there to help. No big deal. I didn't go and tell everybody so and so didn't even know how to do their job. It was a new situation. I am totally in understanding and recognition of the challenges of what we're all going through today. So what I thought was I would offer a training. So what I'm doing here now is just the feeler. I want feedback. Would you be prepared? Would you be interested in some sort of a training? Now, my mentor has told me I should only be offering high price programs, right? Consultancies over a six month period at a very high price. And I find it so hard to, to name my price. And I know I have so much more to offer. And before I wait until I get to that point, I thought I would just do what I always do anyhow for free. You know, I'm serving my organizations, my associations and doing all this stuff. And then I get frustrated because nothing happens because I'm not in control because I am not in a paid position and I'm not 
prepared to invest all of this time full time for a, for a voluntary job. But I want to do my bit, right? So what I'm thinking of is a social media training course, initially a one hour introduction, but you have to sign up and you have to pay. So I've been going live here on Facebook for months. You can even look at everything I've talked about on my Facebook videos. When you go, if you join my group, Learning by Doing, or you join my group, Dream Job UN. There are a number of videos there and you can look at them. They're actually what I was planning to put on my webpage as the lessons, the introduction, where once you join and pay the consultancy fee, then you get that access, but it's all free. I do this anyhow, right? So I'm thinking of doing this as a course and it's gonna be a minimal fee, 29 euros for an introduction into social media. And from there, we can go into private tuition, into breakout rooms to figure out what you really need to design a package that can really help you. And I know with all of this marketing stuff that's been going on, people are scared of being roped into something that is too expensive and that they can't say no. Well, you know what I've learned over the last two years of mentoring? Firstly, you need to become the client that you want to have. So I have given out a lot of money for mentoring, which has been so useful, so precious so important for me to recognize who I really am and what I can give you. And I already confessed, I still find it hard to name my prize, right? So, okay, it hasn't been 100% successful because I'm not asking you for a million dollars, but I'm asking you for feedback if you would be interested in some sort of a course. And I'm, I'll give you more details on that. I'll prepare something and tell you what we're really going to do. But the point is, it has to be what you want. So you need to tell me, what is it that you want? What do you want to learn? Where do you want to pick up some expertise? Tell me, what are your questions? What would you like some support with? Put it in my messenger, put it in the comments, or log into my group. Dream Job UN or Learning by Doing on Facebook or go to my web page. I've got buttons to click if you want to sign up for a newsletter and I'll send you a message and I'll get in touch with you. How about that? What do you think? Can I help you? Is there something we could do together where I could be of benefit to you, where I could help you. It's about visibility because here we are on Facebook, public, right? And maybe you don't want to go public, but maybe you can be more visible in postings. Maybe you don't want to show your face, but you're good at writing or you take great photos or you like going to events that you like to share about. Okay, that's it, time's up. Get in touch, let me know.